Frankly, uh, sleep deprivation, as the local police keep telling us, is often considered uh, torture in other countries. If they cannot convince us that they can control the noise, that we will object. Now, the plans refer to this huge disused warehouse on Trafford Wharf Road, which is currently owned by Manchester United. At capacity, it would hold 16,000 people, and the plan was to open it up as a live music venue 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Sankey's bosses wanted to rival the MEN Arena in the same vein as the O2 in London and create 250 jobs, but they've now pulled their licence application after objections from the public, which even included a huge leaflet campaign encouraging people to email their concerns to council planners. The objections are quite substantial. There's real concern about noise, about people on the streets at all hours of the night, and we've heard nothing so far from the company about how they're going to steward that, how they're going to bring people in and out properly with decent transport links. That's why local residents, local councillors, Hazel Bleers and Salford, and I in, in Stretford and Armston, are so concerned that these proposals seem to be being rushed through, and we need much, much more information if residents are to be at all reassured. Sankeys now say they're going to discuss their plans with people living near the Stadium Point building to reassure them it won't cause too much disruption. David Vincent from the company has told us, despite there only being 20 valid objections, we'll now be looking at all the objections raised with local residents and find solutions for both the local community and Stadium Point. I do feel that it would be very difficult to come up with something that would be acceptable because they're talking about 24 hours uh, drinking licence, uh, seven days a week, 365 days a year. That, to me, is completely unacceptable. We have um, been quite impressed by the way the Stadium Point management have been prepared to engage with us, and uh, uh, they've been quite open about it. And as I say, they reacted quite responsibly and very quickly in withdrawing their application. So, fingers crossed that um, we hold them to their promise to be good neighbours, as we are trying to be to them as well. The council's now asking for more information about exactly how big the venue will be before Sankey submit their new plans. Michael Billington, Channel M Today.